What's up guys, Gary with self.dev. Today I'm gonna to show you how to go from setting up a Create React app to hosting it on Netlify for free and everything in between, which is basically just putting it on GitHub, so there's not a whole lot in between there. But you are going to need to have Node.js installed, you're gonna to need to have Git installed, a GitHub account, and then a Netlify account as well. So I'll have links to all of these in the description if you need that, pause the video, go download that, get it set up, and then we can get going. So first thing we're gonna do is open up Bash. And we're gonna zoom in on that a little bit so you guys can see what I'm typing here. We're gonna change directory to documents and GitHub. You don't have to go there. I don't. You might not even have that set up. Um, just go to wherever you want the files to be stored. And then we are going to say npx create react app netlify test. And we'll let that get created. And we're going to go ahead on GitHub, we're going to click on the plus in the top right here, create a new repository, and we'll call this Netlify test as well. And this is what we're this is where we're gonna push our code to after our app finishes building here. Sweet, so we've got that set up, and then on Netlify, hopefully you've got your account set up, you're logged in. We're gonna click on new site from Git and then we'll click here after we push the code to GitHub, and then we can just pull it in from GitHub to Netlify. And the cool thing is Netlify will detect any changes you make in the future to that GitHub repo and say, oh, hey, there's some changes here. We need to pull those in and rebuild the website to make sure those changes are incorporated and it's up to date. So don't need that one open, and we'll just give this a second to finish building here. Sweet, and it is all finished. So we, I'm gonna say code dot, or actually, nope, that wasn't right. We need to change directory to Netlify test, and then we'll do code dot, and I have VS code, so that opens my text editor with that directory. But if you don't have VS code, you might not be able to run that, just open those files in whatever directory you have them, um, or whatever text editor you use. And then we'll just go to app here, we'll just make a small change. We'll say, hello, Netlify and then save that. And then we need to push this to GitHub. So we'll say git status. Okay, cool. So we've got our file we want to add. We'll do git add-a. Okay, cool. Git commit m. And we'll just say added hello Netlify. Now we need to go to GitHub. We need to get this HTTPS link right here. And then we need to say git remote add origin and then paste our link here. And then we'll do git remote dash V. Cool, and everything's set up correctly there. So now we will do git push origin master. I did not spell it right, git push origin master. There we go. And now that should push it to GitHub. So if we go here and refresh, we've got our files right here. So now we can put this on Netlify. So we'll go to Netlo Netlify, we'll click on GitHub. If you're not already signed in and authorized um, with GitHub, you'll need to sign in your GitHub account through Netlify and then authorize Netlify to read the data there. And then we'll find our repo. It's just called Netlify test. And here it is, so we'll just click on this one. And you can change the owner to whoever you want. I'll leave it as that. The branch we want to deploy is the master branch. And we've got our build command there, and then this is the file, the directory that we want to publish. So this is gonna basically build our React app in a directory called build, and then this is the one Netlify is gonna publish. So we'll click on deploy site, and then it will pull the code in from GitHub, spin it up, and our site will be live. We'll just give it a second here. And eventually you will get to the site is live part and that means our site is live. If you want to lock publishing to this deploy, like if this is something you're gonna make changes on pretty regularly and you don't want it to automatically switch to the most recent, you can click lock publishing to this deploy. And then when you make any changes, it'll stay with this original deploy and you'll have to manually say, okay, cool, this looks right. Switch to the newest changes by looking at the preview thing here. It's got a preview link and this is this can be different from the live site link. But um, as you see, if we go to the preview link, this is how we expect it to be. It says, hello Netlify. So it's got the changes we made and our site is on Netlify. If we go here, we've got the placeholder or the 
URL Netlify gives us. So this is the one you would want to use if you're setting up like a portfolio or something like that. Or better yet, you could go get your own URL, uh, buy your own URL, and then add it to the site here. If you guys want me to show you how to do that, I will do that in a future video. Just let me know in the comments below. But that's about it for this one. We've got our site deployed. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, let me know in the comments below. Come hop in the Discord if you want to come talk tech with me or any other developers in there. If you want to get my resume template, the one I used when I was trying to get my first developer job before I had any tech experience, I will have a link where you can get that in the description as well. And I think that's about it for this one. So I will see you next time. Peace.